Tom Brady and Bill Belichick will always go hand in hand for most sports fans. After all, they share so many accomplishments with each other, going to nine Super Bowls and winning six of them, while going to the playoffs a staggering amount of times. However, Tom Brady's infamous decision to move to Tampa and the immediate success he found as people wondering, was Belichick really the driving factor behind those six Patriots championships? And does he really deserve all the praise he's gotten? Or is Brady simply the product of Belichick's coaching and expertise that he simply took elsewhere? Let's take a look on this episode of Famous Feuds. Tom Brady was born August 3rd, 1977 in Southern California. He grew up playing many sports, but found his true passion playing quarterback on the football field. He played at a high level in high school, being retroactively considered a four-star recruit with several offers to go to major college football programs. I said retroactively, as Brady has been playing for so long that the star ranking system didn't exist when he was in high school. With that being said, he was an absolute stud, sending highlight videos across the country, impressing coaches everywhere they were sent. Brady ended up going to Michigan, sitting back behind future NFL quarterback Brian Greasy for two years until he earned the starting job as a junior. He was able to ascend to the starting job from seventh string on Michigan's roster to starter in two years. He famously used a sports psychologist to overcome anxiety and stress. Yet, even though his two years as the starting quarterback were wildly successful, there was still immense competition with Michigan still using fellow quarterback Drew Henson in a platoon system. However, Brady maintained the starting job and was ultimately the Big Ten honorable mention during his two-year span. He battled for playing time, but performed nicely when he did. Still though, his low-level performance at the NFL Combine paired with his perceived lack of athleticism allowed Brady to slip down to the sixth round of the NFL Draft and gave us some pretty funny memes along the way. He was selected in the draft being the seventh overall QB and one of the last picks in the draft. Still though, Brady did have intangibles such as a strong pocket presence, good arm, and ability to work well with coaches and teammates. He was well liked, looked at as a natural born leader, and was pretty much thought of as a highly intelligent passer. Meanwhile, Bill Belichick was climbing his way up the NFL ladder. Belichick began coaching in 1975 and became the defensive coordinator for the New York Giants by 1985. And most people don't realize this, but he actually won two Super Bowls before he left to become the head coach of the Cleveland Browns in 1991. He remained in Cleveland for five seasons and ironically won his first playoff game as a head coach against the Patriots, but was fired following the team's 1995 season. He would then bounce around the league for a couple of seasons, having short stints in a coordinator role in New England, and later with the New York Jets, where he would be named the head coach in one of the weirdest NFL moments in history. Belichick literally resigned the next day to accept the head coaching job of the Patriots in January of 2000, where he and Brady's paths would finally meet. No one was expecting this to become the story it was at this time today. At the time, Belichick was a head coach with a solid track record, but was not noted to be a special talent or generational thinker. And the same could be said with Brady. Regardless of how much potential some may have saw in him, the truth was he was a backup quarterback, sitting back behind a highly paid franchise quarterback and former first overall pick in Drew Bledsoe. But when Bledsoe went down, getting absolutely destroyed by Mo Lewis of the Jets, which ended up being a nearly fatal event, Belichick turned to his backup Tom Brady and never looked back. Throughout the seasons, the duo would go on to accomplish many great things, winning six Super Bowls and never posting a losing season along the way. Brady would also be the recipient of three regular season NFL MVP awards and four Super Bowl MVPs. But even as the individual accolades came and went, the media and the fans always contended that these awards showcased a productive relationship between the two. Some argued that Brady would have simply been another boring backup QB and at best a system QB with another team. Brady fans said that Belichick was the recipient of a lucky six round draft pick who outperformed the so-called experts. This set the table for friction between the two, both allowing their competitive nature to fuel their wins, but also fuel their falling out. Both wanted to win, regardless of the cost, but eventually that would come at the cost of Brady's tenure with the Patriots. By 2017, Belichick wanted to trade the reigning NFL MVP to another team so that he could start developing a young budding star and eventual Super Bowl quality starter, Jimmy Garoppolo. There were, two, there were rumors two years ago that Belichick was thinking about bringing in a new QB, you know. Did, did that influence your decision, that. though, when you heard that rumor? Did you say, you know, f*** this guy. I am giving my life to this team. So many wrong assumptions were made about our relationship 
or about how he felt about me. I know genuinely how he feels about me. He's starting to plan for the future. This was a move that was controversial to say the least. Fans were concerned about Brady's legacy remaining with the Patriots, baffled as to why an MVP would ever be, ever be considered expendable. Why would a veteran and leader be so unfairly treated by his coach? The media ran away with the story and it appeared more and more clear that their relationship was strained after the incident. By the time Brady was a free agent, it was no longer unfathomable to see Brady in new team colors. And on March 20th, 2020, Brady opted to make the move from New England to Tampa Bay. The move worked out for Brady and he found immediate success, posting another winning season and winning a Super Bowl in his first season elsewhere with a new coach. This showcased his brilliance. In his first season without Belichick capturing another Super Bowl, it just clearly proved that he had a championship pedigree and was truly one of the best to ever do it. Naysayers, of course, still refute this by stating that Brady was more of a product of Belichick and that he just benefited from him even if elsewhere. Meanwhile, Belichick stayed put in New England, scooping up another former NFL MVP quarterback in Cam Newton, but finding marginal success and posting his first losing season in years. The luster of the Patriots franchise was gone, or at least it wasn't going to be apparent for years to come. Some people would argue that the dynasty was shaky the day Belichick decided to betray his quarterback a few years earlier, and ended the day that Brady signed elsewhere with the Bucks. Regardless of what the future holds in their careers, moving forward they will always be mentioned in the same breath. Winning more games together than any other duo in NFL history, they were quite the package deal. However, it's important to note that they're not interchangeable. Brady is a world-class athlete who has found success at every level with every coach and every team he's ever played on, while Belichick is a championship coach who had won Super Bowls before even Brady was old enough to drive. Both should be known as champions together and apart.